Jordan Yamada. I've been 19 years old. I've been riding my scooter for about six of those years, and I've been a professional scooter rider for about three years. And this is my scooter bio. Get it. <laughs> so, um, I was born in Portland, Oregon, and I only lived there until I was four, and then I moved to Washington for my dad's job, and my sister was being born, and we needed a bigger house, or whatever. And then, as I was growing up, I kind of did about every extreme sport there was. I moved to Washington, so there's a lot of snow. I snowboarded. I did a lot of like, rollerblading and BMX riding, a little skateboarding. And I really got into dirt jumps when I was around seventh grade. I would do dirt jumps with uh, James G and Blake Baylor. Who would, we would always go out to the, these trails and one time I just went a little too big and hit a jump that I haven't really hit very often. And I came down and I broke my left arm. It's ironic I have a broken arm right now, but that kind of made me stop wanting to bike because I was so scared and fearful of coming down wrong again. So when, when we were... Uh, when I was with my broken arm, when I was coming back, it was, this was like late seventh grade, going into eighth grade, kind of that summer. Uh, we were on the bus, and we decided to start scootering because we old scooters, and we used to have those plastic jumps that you would jump off of, and uh, so we all got together and stopped by James G's house and brought all of our plastic jumps, and we'd jump off those. And we'd start practicing on like our tail whips and just kind of doing it for fun. And we would just come back to James's house every day and keep progressing. And one time we, we got a video camera, it happened to be VHS at the time. We had this long extension cord we brought from his house all the way to the neighbor's house and filmed from across the street. And we'd just do jumps off these, these plastic kickers. And we kept progressing, we decided we kind of wanted to keep doing this, and we, we started going to skate parks, and there's actually a skate park being built in our local city of Sammamish at this time, and so we'd go there as it was being built and kind of scope it out, and finally when it was finished, that's where we'd go almost every day throughout 8th, 9th grade, um, actually to this day, and we kind of just progressed from there. things that have made me want to quit scooter riding throughout my experience and that's been things like soccer. Um, my dad sometimes has told me that I need to quit scooter riding because it's going to hurt my soccer career because I was a competitive soccer player and was on these really high uh, competitive expensive teams to be on. We went around the country and all this kind of stuff. and. That made me want to quit scootering, but I kept I kept scootering through it because I just loved it so much. And then when I got older, I quit the soccer team, or it was done. I couldn't play any more youth soccer, and I didn't want to play soccer in college. And so the other thing that made me want to quit scooter riding for a little bit was my mom passed away, and I I I don't know. There wasn't really much happiness there anymore, but I wanted to keep scooter riding because my mom was always the one who kind of pushed me to keep scooter riding because it was, she knew it was something that I liked, that I loved to do, and so I, I kept scooter riding throughout that because I, 
knew that she was kind of up there, like, wanting me to do it. And so I kept scootering. And, yeah. Scootering, I thought it was really weird and dumb, but as he got better, I thought it was really cool. And now kids at school come up to me and ask if my brother is up in your bottom. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! Yeah, Josh Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing pants. Thanks! <laughs> I've known Evan ever since second grade, and that's really when we became best friends. We did everything together. I remember I went over to his house almost every day because he lives right down the street from me. We played sports together. We started scootering together. We've done it all. What's pretty funny is that Evan, Blake, and I have done everything together scooter-wise. We started scootering at the same time. We joined the same sponsorships with Lucky, and then now we're starting our own company, which is just mind-blowing. It's sick that my best friends are my business partners. Give me a face shot, give me a face shot. So basically, Advocate started off when we were trying to collaborate with um, Lucky Scooter Parts and make some, I don't know, hipper, you know, apparel for scooter riders to wear and stuff like that, but they kind of wanted to stick to their own branding and declined everything that Evan, Evan, Evan was the main guy like trying to come up with cooler stuff and they just turned down everything he, he like brought to them. So. We kind of realized that we wanted our own like individuality and like wanted to go to our own thing because we wanted to be able to express ourselves through scootering and stuff and like they were kind of holding us back so that's how Advocate started and like yeah support the real. I just wanted to tell everybody to go to AdvocateScooters.com that's A-D-V-C-T Scooters.com and buy some t-shirts that help support us. It's really cool to support a rider own company because we're here for you guys. And yeah, my name is Ebony Mata and this has been my scooter bio. Love scooters? Yeah, I hate you. <laughs>